this is one of my favorite smelling plants out here, Nathan. This is dill. I just love the way that the dill smells. Now, many people are familiar with dill from, you know, you may have a little plot in your garden to make dill pickles, and it's no coincidence that it's growing right next to our strip of cucurbits. So we're hoping that dill pickles maybe just emerge from the two growing together here. Uh, but dill is one of those things that we don't use extensively in a lot of cover crop mixes. We're kind of experimenting with it. It's, you know, it's relatively expensive seed. Uh, so we're putting it like in our showy flower mix, our warm season pollinator mixes, our milpa mixes. Uh, but, but we like experimenting with different things to see, you know, hey, maybe this will work as a broad acre cover crop if we can get the seed down cheap enough. That's what we did with okra a number of years ago, and now okra's a fairly popular cover crop mix. So, Nathan, what are some of your observations uh, on this plot of dill? I mean, it's grown really well. Yeah, so the dill has grown really well all through our Nebraska heat here. Um, you know, we're, we're up to like kind of mid chest high. It is sort of starting to fall, fall over here. We had some storms roll through, but um, otherwise it's grown really well. Um, it's interesting the types of insects that are frequenting the dill in this test plot. It's, it's not attracting kind of your normal pollinators. There haven't been a lot of bees on it necessarily, uh, or even the butterflies, but smaller insects, maybe some ladybugs, have tended to frequent the dill a little bit more. It's an extremely interesting plant just structurally. The leaves are this really kind of viney, like it doesn't have big broad leaves. It's mm -hmm. just kind of these weird stems. Um, it has grown really well, like I mentioned. There's been very little weed pressure in, in this uh, plot of dill. It's, it's fought back all the weeds really nicely. Um, so yeah, like you said, it, it smells really good when you're walking out here and you can just catch that whiff of dill. Uh, and yeah, we're definitely still kind of seeing, you know, are there grazing benefits or, or what necessarily will it, is it doing to our soils? Uh, just trialing those things and seeing what sort of fits dill could have um, in the cover crop industry yeah. in the future. So if you have suggestions of other things for us to try putting in our plots and, and testing and trialing and maybe making videos, uh, let us know. We'd love to hear about it and we'd love to try those uh, your weird things as well.